Hello everybody, it's Tioni with Hawaii Keto Girl. Today I'm going to be doing my recipe of broken jello. It is a dessert here that you see in Hawaii all the time at all the parties that you go to. This is something that I grew up eating and I wanted to ketofy it. So the ingredients you're gonna need for this is your choice of heavy whipping cream. I am using Dairy Pure today. And you're gonna need Knox gelatin. And you're gonna need three different sugar-free jellos. So I have orange, strawberry, and lime. That's all I could find in my local commissary. So get what you can. And then, you know, in a regular recipe, the cream jello portion of the mix comes from the condensed milk, but we are gonna be doing something different. So we're gonna be using the heavy whipping cream as the uh, cream mix. And then I'm also going to use a sweetener. I'm doing two recipes today, so depending on what I have left, I'm either going to be using allulose or Anthony's Confectioner Erythritol. erythritol. Um, so we'll see. When I get there, I, I will let you guys know um, what exactly I end up using. So those are the three, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four ingredients that you need for this recipe. It's kind of long, you know, because it's jello, so you're gonna have to make things, set it, wait, and all of that. So um, it's a labor of love, but everyone's gonna love it. Um, your Ohana will enjoy it. It's pretty and it tastes good. Okay, so stick around. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, Tioni ended up using Anthony's Confectioner's Erythritol for this recipe. All right, our water is boiling. I'm gonna add it into here. Into one cup. Perfect. Gonna add it in here. Gonna mix this. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat this process two more times for each jello mixture. And I'm going to fast forward this part of the video since uh, it's pretty straightforward. As I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that I should have just mixed the jello into these containers from the start instead of transferring them. But anyways, I wanted to be fancy. So here we go. Here I am transferring all the jello into the containers and I'm going to set it in the fridge for a few hours and we'll come back and start to piece it together. Right, the jello is set here, looks great. I'm going to cube it. And we're gonna put it in this nine by 13 glass pan. All right guys, I cubed the jello. I couldn't film myself um, cutting it cause you know, your girl only has two arms. So I cubed, um, oops. I cubed the jello here. Um, just putting it in the pan like this and then I'm going to do it again for the uh, other two flavors. So here is our third and final flavor. We have lime, strawberry, and orange. Dax is getting the last of the orange out. Okay, so I have a half a cup of water in here. I'm gonna add my two packs of gelatin. While I'm doing that, I have some water boiling. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so this is cold water. We're just gonna mix this. I'm adding 
the last half cup of water. So you're gonna need one and a half cups of boiling hot water. I'm gonna add that to the gelatin mixture, give that a stir. And then we are going to add three tablespoons of erythritol. Stir that. And then we'll add our heavy cream. Okay, so I am adding the last fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. Gonna give that a stir. So this is gonna call for one and one and three fourths cups of whipping cream here. Okay. So now we are gonna let this cool down. We're gonna let this mixture cool down. Once it's cool, we'll pour it over this and let it set overnight. So we are almost done, folks. Okay, here for the fun part, I'm gonna be pouring in our cream mixture. Ooh, look how pretty that is. All right, we'll let that set overnight and we'll cut it tomorrow morning. Okay, it's ready to cut. Let's see what my official taste tester thinks. Just how I hear. It's good, perfect. yeah? It's perfect. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so stoked on how this turned out. Let me know if you end up trying the recipe. Take care and Happy New Year.